Hello kids, welcome back to American Textbook Reading. I'm Brian Stewart. Today in this lesson we're going over lesson 13. We're talking about electricity. Electricity, another type of energy. We're talking about a lot of different types of energy, aren't we? But in this lesson we'll be talking about electricity. You will discover what electricity is. What is electricity? And how do we use it? Right? Electricity is very important. We use it in many ways. In fact, that's our first word. Electricity. Electricity. Right? It's a long word, right? But if we uh, count how many sounds are in electricity, e le tri -si -ty. Wow! Five sounds, right? Electricity, right? We make a big sound on tr electricity. So, everybody, electricity. Okay, electricity is energy. Like I said, we've been talking a lot about energy in this textbook, right? We've talked about, before we talked about heat. Heat is energy. Light is energy. We talked about sound. Sound is energy. This is all energy, right? But electricity is very powerful energy, right? V much more powerful than these other ones. Electricity gives computers and other machines power, power to work. Electricity is a very powerful form of energy. We need it and we use it every day. Okay, where do we get electricity from? We get electricity from a power plant. P, right? We have to practice the P sound. Power plant. Power plant. What is a power plant? A power plant is a building. It's a building. This building is a power plant. A building that produces. Produces, makes. Produces and makes, same word. So a power plant is a building that makes or produces electricity for many things for people. Many things? What things? Well, think about it. You use electricity for your computers, for your MP3 players, for your stereo set, for your cell phone, for the lights in your house. We use electricity for many, many things. Where do we get electricity? we get electricity from a power plant. Let's take a look at a power plant, uh, a video of a power plant. Here is a, a power plant. This is actually a nuclear power plant. We can tell because of these uh, structures right here. It is a nuclear power plant. Nuclear. Nuclear power plant. Now, it's making a lot of smoke, right? But don't worry, most of the smoke at an electricity power plant is actually steam. All of this smoke coming out is very uh, hot water. Steam or hot water is used to produce electricity, so a lot of that water is so hot it creates steam, and that steam uh, comes off here. It's not, it's not really a lot of pollution. It looks bad, but it's not that bad because most of this is water vapor coming out of the power plant. But this is a typical example of a power plant. This is actually a nuclear power plant because you can tell by these structures here. Okay. Now, we're also looking at in this lesson fuel. Fu what is fuel? Actually, there are many types of fuel if you think about it. Wood is a fuel, a type of fuel. We use wood. Wood is kind of the, perhaps the oldest type of fuel that human beings have been using. We use wood to make fire. So we put fuel on the fire, we're talking about wood. What's a type of fuel that you use every day? Think about it. You probably use it three times a day, in the morning, at noon, and in the evening. That's right, it's food. Food is fuel for your body, okay? In this case, in this picture, fuel is gas that your mom or dad puts in the car and that makes the car run. Fuel is something burned to make heat or power. So we burn wood to make fire, to make heat. We burn food in our bodies to give us power. We put gas in our uh, cars, the engine burns that gas 
to make power. So our cars can go fast, right? So fuel is anything, something that we burn to make heat, to make it warm, or to make power in order to do something, right? So fuel, there's many kinds of fuel, and we use fuel a lot in our modern lives. Okay. Battery. Now, battery is not really fuel, right? It's, battery is a different type of thing. It's a storage device for what? What do you store in a battery, right? You store electricity in a battery because sometimes you go away, you know, maybe there's not a power plant near you or there's no wires or electricity outlets near you. You go out into the mountains or you go out into nature away from your home. Where can you get electricity, right? You have your cell phone. Where do you get electricity from? Well, you use a battery, battery. And these, of course, are very common types of batteries, but there are many, many different kinds of batteries, lots of different shapes, lots of different sizes. In your mom or dad's car, there's a really big battery. That's the battery to get the engine going, right? In your cell phone, you have a smaller battery, but it's bigger than one of these batteries. Okay, so there are many types of batteries. Batteries, of course, store electricity. They keep electricity inside them, so when you need electricity, you can use it. You can carry it with you. Wire. A wire is a long, thin cable, very thin, that carries electricity. And if you look at the wire, there's really two parts to the wire. There's a metal part right there. This is the metal the metal part of the wire. Remember we talked about metal a long time ago? Usually copper is used as the metal to carry electricity. And that's one part of the wire. The other part is right here. That's the, this part right here. That is plastic. Now the plastic is around the metal and that protects you right? Because if it's just metal and you touch that metal and there's electricity going through it, right? That's very dangerous. You got to be careful. So that metal, right? Don't touch that metal. It, you are protected by plastic. So the plastic is a protection for you against the electricity. Also, you don't want the metal touching each other. If two electric wires touch each other, then it's really bad and your computer might break right? You might have a fire also. So like I said before, electricity is a very powerful type of energy. So we got to be careful with it. So wire, we use wires to carry electricity, carry electricity from one place to another. Let's take a look here. Okay, outlet. Outlet is the place where the wire comes to. We just saw wire carries electricity from the power plant to your house and there's a wire behind this that goes to the power plant. So that's what wires do. And the wire comes to a stop and end right here in the outlet. So an outlet is a place on a wall for electricity. And this is how electricity comes from the power plant to your house, along a wire, okay? Okay, so we just saw the outlet, but what do we put in the outlet? We put a cord in the outlet. And you remember on the outlet you saw those two holes? Well, that's where you put the plug. This is actually what we call a plug. It's part of a cord. The plug. You plug the cord into the outlet. Plug it into. Plug. It's a noun, but we can also use it as a verb. Plug it into the outlet. Plug it in or plug it into the outlet, then you get power. Then you plug this other side into your computer. Wow, you got power on your computer. So, a cord is a cable. This is the cable. It's like a wire too. There's wire inside there. It is used to connect machines to electricity. So this part you put in your computer, this part you put in your outlet, and now you have connected your machine your computer, your MP3 player, your cell phone, to electricity, okay? So that you can use it or you can recharge the battery, okay? But you need to connect it to electricity. Okay, now like I said before, be careful, right? This little boy is, is in danger, right? This, of course, 
is a, uh, a cord used to jumpstart a car's battery. There's a lot of electricity runs through here, right? This is negative and this is positive. He should not touch these together, right? That's very dangerous. Dangerous. Dangerous means harmful and unsafe. It's not safe to play with electricity. Do not play with electricity. Just use electricity properly because it could be very dangerous. Like I said before, electricity is an energy. It's very powerful energy. It's one of the most powerful energies we've been talking about in this book. So you have to be very careful with electricity because it is dangerous. Okay. Okay, that wraps up the vocabulary. Let's take a look at a chart. Here this chart is how electricity gets to your home. So we're talking about how the electricity gets from the power plant to your home and then you can use it. How does it get from that place to your home? Well here over here we can see different uh, pictures, right? Different stages in the process. In the first stage we see electricity comes from power plants. We had a look at the picture of the building where the electricity is produced or made and it comes from the power plant, from that building, through wires to your home. So imagine the power plant is over here and your home is way far down, down there, right? Okay, so let's take a look at a video. Wow, this is very impressive. We can see a very tall structure. They're holding these wires really high above the ground. Well, of course, you don't want those wires near the ground. People might touch them. Remember, electricity is dangerous. And look at how long they are. Look at how many. There's so many. These wires can stretch for kilometers and kilometers, hundreds of kilometers, because, of course, the power plant might be very far away from your home. So maybe the power plant isn't near your home. It's far away. These wires will carry electricity all the way from the power plant to your home. Now, when it comes to your home, electricity moves from the outlet, right? When it comes to your home, it comes into an outlet. The wires go through the wall and they stop here at an outlet. So the outlet is empty until you plug a cord into the outlet, okay? So electricity moves from the outlet through the cord, but you have to plug the cord in. Here is an outlet, perhaps in your home, uh, and then we can see somebody's kind of come along here and they plug the cord into the outlet. Now there's a connection, then they take it out. The connection is broken. So electricity is coming through, you put the cord in, now you can make the electricity go where it's supposed to go, right? Where is it supposed to go? Well, in this case, it will go here. There's a lamp, right? That's one machine that will make light in your house. Now the lamp has energy. You can turn on the lamp. Turn on, or if you're going to bed at night, turn off the lamp. Don't waste electricity. Okay? Then the lamp gives off light. It gives off light. Of course, we already know it also gives off heat, but we're not interested in the heat so much. We want the light. That's why we have the lamp. So we want the light. We have a lamp, but we need to connect the lamp to the power so that we can turn it on. Let's take a look. Right now the lamp is off. The lamp is off. Uh, if it's plugged in, the cord is plugged in, then somebody can come along and turn the light on. Turn the light on. Turn the lamp on. In fact, many machines we say turn it on. Turn the computer on. Turn your cell phone on. In this case, turn the lamp on. Okay, now it's time to review the vocabulary with a matching exercise. We need to match each word with its definition. Our words are outlet, power plant, power plant, battery, battery, fuel, 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 wire, wire, and electricity, electricity. Okay, you guys, electricity. Okay, so let's match these words with the definitions. The first definition is number one, energy. That's the important word right there, energy that gives computers and other machines power to work. So which one of these is a powerful energy, right? We talked about that before. Of course, our word is electricity, 
Electricity is a powerful energy that makes machines work. Okay, let's move on to number two. A place on a wall for electricity. So in your house, on the wall, there is a place where you plug a cord into and you can get electricity. What is that thing called? Remember, it is called an outlet. It is called an outlet and it has two holes, right? It's like this, it has a hole, whoa. It has a hole and a, well, this pen doesn't work very well. And, and right there and you plug a cord in. So that is your outlet, a place on the wall for electricity. Number three, a building, a building, that's our key word right there, a building that produces, produces or makes electricity for many things or people. So which one here is a building, right? Is a battery a building? No, a power plant is a building. Our building is a power plant that produces or makes electricity for many things that we use. Let's move on to number four. Number four is something burned. Something, different kinds of things, lots of different kinds of things. We burn it to make heat or power. What do we burn to make heat or power? Remember, it's a lot of different things, not just one thing, but many different things. What would that be? Would it be wire? Do we burn wire? No, we burn fuel, right? Remember, there's lots of different kinds of fuel. There's wood, food, our bodies use food as fuel. And of course, gas is a very common type of fuel that we put into our cars and trucks uh, to make them go, to give them power. Number five, a long, thin cable that carries electricity. It's made of two parts. One is metal, the other part is plastic around it to protect it. But really the metal is what carries the electricity. What do we call that? That is called a wire. A wire carries electricity. Number six, an object that stores electricity. So if there's no outlet around, you're going away from an outlet, how do you bring electricity with you? Well, of course, you keep it in a battery. You store it in a battery. You keep it in a battery. Okay, so those are our definitions and our words. Moving on, we have our, our uh, another chart here. And this is an interesting chart. Before I told you uh, at the very beginning of the lesson, I said, well, how do we use electricity? What are some of the ways? And I gave you some examples, right? How do we use electricity at home? So in your home, look around. What are some things that you use electricity for or that you need electricity to use? Well, one thing, of course, is a refrigerator. Maybe you don't think that's very important, but think about it. You want cold ice cream, don't you? You want cold drinks. You don't want your food to smell bad, right? So you put it in a refrigerator. It keeps it cool and fresh, and that's important. Of course, you probably use this a lot, don't you? <laughs> you use a computer uh, to do your homework. Do you, you, do you use a computer to play games? Do you do that? Of course you do, okay? But don't play too much games, too many games. Uh, of course, we use a computer, and that's used for electricity. A stove. A stove is used, of course, for electricity. Maybe you don't use the stove a lot. Your mom, maybe your dad uses the stove to make your dinner hot. You don't want cold dinner all the time, do you? You want a hot dinner. And many stoves use electricity. Some stoves use gas, but many other stoves use electricity to make food hot. And of course, the television, the TV, uh, very uh, common usage of electricity in almost everybody's home. Almost everybody has a TV. In fact, everybody has a TV, almost. But very common feature in many modern homes is a TV that uses electricity. So you can see, we really depend a lot on electricity. Electricity is a very, very important energy source for us. We use it in a lot of different ways. Okay. Let's take a look. We've just looked at the uh, chart where we saw different things that use electricity. Now here we have two questions. They're separated here, okay? So this one and this one, number one and number two. Let's take a look at number one. Choose the things that use electricity to work. Number one, what is this? This is a laptop computer. We can just call it a laptop. People also call it a notebook, a notebook computer, notebook. So 
you could say laptop or you could say notebook. It's a notebook computer. This, of course, is just a book. It's not a notebook, <laughs> right? It's just a book uh, that you read. Which one uses electricity? Well, that's pretty obvious. Uh, of course, you don't see a cord. Sometimes there's a cord, but usually this uses a battery. Of course, it's A, it's your laptop computer, or your notebook computer uses electricity. Okay, number two, which one uses electricity? Now, this is interesting because what is this here? This is a fireplace. Now, it could be an oven. People could, might be able to cook over here. It's a very fancy, perhaps old-fashioned type of oven, right? But this could be an oven or a stove, right? But what are they using as fuel? What are they, they are using something for fuel, but they are using, looks like charcoal or maybe wood for fuel. They're not using electricity on this one. What's this one? You use this in the summer, of course. This, of course, is a fan. And in order to turn on the fan, you have to plug it in to the outlet. So, of course, we use this one for electricity. Okay, so we do use electricity for various things in our house. We don't use electricity for everything, but we do use electricity to make machines like notebook computers or fans in our house to make them work. Okay. Now we come on to our true false questions. Let's take a look. Uh, number one, a power plant produces electricity. So when we think about where does electricity come from, we remember we learned about a power plant and a power plant is a building that produces or makes electricity. That is true. So there's no problem with that sentence. That's absolutely true. It's true. Okay, number two, an outlet stores electricity. So if you look around your house, you see an outlet on the wall, it stores electricity. You can take the outlet with you, right? If you go outside of your house and you can use electricity later. No, that's not right. An outlet does not store electricity. An outlet gives electricity, but it doesn't store it. That's an important thing. The outlet is not storing the electricity. The outlet is just a connection right, between the wires that go to the power uh, plant. It doesn't store it, it doesn't keep it. If you cut the wires to your house, there's no electricity in your outlet. No electricity has been stored or kept in your outlet. Your outlet is just a connection to hook you up to a power supply, but it doesn't store electricity, so that's incorrect. Number three, wire is a cable that carries electricity. Now, Remember when we talked about the cord? We talked about the two parts of the cord. There's a, there's a plug and then there's the cable. And I mentioned that the inside the cable is a wire. And that's true. Wire is a cable that carries electricity. So wire is two parts, remember, metal and plastic. And anytime you see that, that's a cable that carries electricity from one place to another, usually in a cord, right? Usually we find cables in a cord. But cables can also be those big wires that you see uh, that we saw in the video. Those are also called cables. So wire is cable that carries electricity. Okay, that wraps it up for the vocabulary section. Let's now take a short break and we'll come back and look at the reading. Okay, welcome back to the reading section. Of course, we're talking about electricity, right? And the reading section, first of all, talks about what, how, or why electricity is important, right? Why is electricity important? Because many things, many things we use every day. So many things that we use every day need energy to work. And of course, we're talking about electricity is the type of energy that we're talking about. And electricity is a kind of, is a kind of energy. So we have energy and energy. So many things we use every day need energy to work. What kind of energy? Ah, electricity is a kind of energy. That's the energy that we need or that we use every day to make things work. So electricity gives many things power, right? We talked about electricity is really very powerful energy. It gives machines power so those machines can work. Power plants make electricity. Where do we get electricity? We get electricity from power plants. They make electricity by burning fuel. Remember we talked about fuel. What, do what does elect 
uh, what do power plants use as fuel to make electricity? Well, usually they use coal or they use uh, uh, nuclear power. We saw an example of a nuclear power uh, power plant. But power plants need some type of fuel to create or generate, produce, make electricity. Okay, so then how does the electricity get from the power plant to your home? Well, electricity moves through wires, moves through wires into buildings and homes. So from the power plant to buildings and homes, we have very long wires going from one place to the other. Okay, let's move on. So once electricity comes to the building or to your house, it goes through the walls in wires and comes out in an outlet, right? Electricity moves from the outlets to the machines through the cords. So you plug a cord into the outlet, right? You plug a cord into the outlet, that cord is connected to a machine, and that's how the machine gets the power, the energy that it needs. Electricity, of course, makes what work? Computers, lamps, refrigerators, TVs, and many other machines to work. Many machines. These are examples, right? Computers, lamps, refrigerators, TVs, and many machines, many other machines to work. Electricity makes street lights shine. So if you remember street lights, lights that are on the street, how do those shine at night? Because of electricity. And that's important to think about. Think about a long time ago, maybe 150 years ago, uh, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, people didn't have electricity. When it was night, that's it. It's dark. You have no choice. Maybe you can light a fire or a candle, but that's, you know, it, it smells, gives off smoke. It's not very convenient. Imagine how the world changed once electricity became available. All of a sudden, people could just turn, flip a switch. Boom, turn on the light. Now we have light, we have energy, we can do many things at night because of electricity. Okay, let's move on. Sometimes machines get electricity from batteries. Of course, uh, if the machine is away from an outlet, it, the machine is not in a building, it's not in your home. You take it outside on the street or you go into the woods, you go to a park, you go to the beach. There's no outlet. How do you get electricity? Well, you store uh, electricity in batteries, right? Okay, so that's how you, you do that. And you take those with you. You carry it with you. Now, be careful. Electricity can run through water. That's not something that we talked about in the vocabulary section, but that's something here that's important to remember. Water can carry electricity, just like a wire can carry electricity. The metal, the copper metal, can carry electricity very well. Well, so can water. But water, we can't really control water, right? Water is a big body of water. A wire is very easy to control. We can put it somewhere. But if electricity touches the water, it goes out everywhere in all directions. So you got to be careful. Never use electricity near water because if you touch that wire to the water, right, and you're standing in the water, you can get electrocuted, right? So be careful. Electricity can be dangerous. Never take a shower, never go into a bathtub or a swimming pool carrying an electric device. One, it's very dangerous. Two, you'll ruin the device. You know, your cell phone's not going to hurt you. But if you have a hair dryer, connected to a cord and an outlet, that could be very, very dangerous. So don't use those things in the shower, the bathtub, or even in a swimming pool. Okay, so be careful because electricity can be dangerous, harmful or unsafe. Okay, so now we're on our reading skill. The reading skill here is main idea and details. So what's the main idea of the reading passage? Well, of course it has to do with electricity. And what is electricity? Well, electricity is a kind of energy. So, as you can see in this book, in the last few lessons, we've learned about different kinds of energy. We've learned about heat, we've learned about light, we've learned about sound, many different kinds of energy. Well, here we're learning about electricity, which is another kind or a kind of energy. Now, what are the details about energy, right? What are the details that make electricity different from, say, heat or light or sound? We need to look at the specific details that describe what electricity is, where it comes from, how it's used. 
So we need to fill in the blanks in these details. Here are words. Batteries, power plants, fuel, and work. Okay, let's fill in the blanks. First, the first one is a blank, right? So it's kind of hard. Beep. <laughs> make electricity by burning what? Well, what makes electricity? We're looking for something that makes electricity. Remember before we found out that electricity, where electricity comes from, right? It comes from a building that makes or produces electricity. What do we call that building? That's right, we call that building a power plant. So power plants make electricity. How do they make electricity? What do they do in that building to make electricity? They're burning something. They are burning what? They are burning fuel. Remember, we talked about fuel. Fuel is something, there are many types of fuel, that we burn in order to create heat or power, right? Our bodies burn food to make power. Car engines burn gas to make power. Power plants burn coal uh, or they use nuclear energy to make electricity. So power plants make electricity by burning fuel, usually coal. Electricity makes many things do what? Does it make many things batteries or does it make many things work? Of course, electricity makes many things work. It gives them the power they need in order to work. We want those machines, it says things, usually machines. We want those machines to work, so we need to give those machines electricity. Then it can work. Sometimes machines get electricity from somewhere. Well, usually machines get electricity from an outlet, right? From an outlet. But sometimes there's no outlet. So where can you get electricity? Sometimes machines get electricity from batteries. So if there's no outlet anywhere around, you can carry the electricity with you by carrying a battery with you. And the battery keeps or stores electricity. So sometimes machines get electricity from batteries. Let's move on. In our reading comprehension questions, number one, we need to choose the right answer to fill in the blank. So number one, electricity can run through water. So remember, we talked about that, right? Electricity runs through metal, especially copper, very well. So we use that in a wire, but it can also run through water. And water, we can't control water very well. When the electricity goes in the water, it goes in all different directions. In a wire, it just goes in one direction or two, you know, either way, right? But water, <laughs> that's very difficult to control the direction. So in that case, it can be what? A, burned. B, used, or C, dangerous? C, dangerous, because the electricity is running through the water in many different directions. We can't control it. So be careful with electricity around water. Okay, number two. Electricity moves, beep, to a machine through a cord, okay? So we're looking for the answer here. A, from an outlet. B, from a power plant. C, from a wire. So we're looking for an answer that says electricity moves from point A to point B. Point B is the machine. It uses a cord to go to the machine. But where does it come from? Electricity before it goes to the cord. Electricity moves from an outlet to a machine through a cord. That's true, right? Because in the, in the part of a cord, you plug the cord into an outlet, into an outlet. And of course, the cord is attached to a machine. So that's a direct connection from an outlet to a machine. That's a direct connection. It's probably A. But look at this. Electricity moves from a power plant to a machine through a cord. That might be a possible answer. I mean, if you think about it in a very broad way. But if you have a power plant, remember, a power plant, it goes through a wire to an outlet, then to a cord then to your machine. So that's too far away, right? We need to show the direct relationship. Exactly from an outlet to a machine, we use a cord. A is the best answer for that, not B. And finally, C, electricity moves from a wire to a machine through a cord. That doesn't make sense because a wire is, uh, a cord is a wire. There's a, a wire inside the cord. So that doesn't really make sense either. Our best answer is A, because it moves directly from an outlet through a cord directly to a machine. It's a direct connection. So A is your best answer there because it's very direct from an outlet through a cord 
to a machine. Power plants much, much before that, so we don't use power plant for this one. Okay, number three. Electricity is made in power plants, right? It's produced or made in power plants. And then we have the, la the last part of the sentence. Let's check those. A, and, so it's also, and is stored in fuel, wires, and cords. Does, is electricity stored in fuel? Electricity is stored in fuel? That doesn't seem right. That doesn't make sense. Is it stored in wires? Is it stored in cords? No, none of these things store electricity. So A is not the correct answer. None of these things keep electricity inside of them. How about B? And is made by burning machines. <laughs> so if you want to you want to make electricity, let's burn your computer. <laughs> that's a good way to make electricity. No, that's crazy, right? We don't burn machines to make electricity. That's silly, right? That would be very wasteful. So C it must be. And electricity is made in power plants and moves through wires into our homes. Yes, that's true. It's made in power plants and moves through wires to get to our homes. That is the correct answer. Okay, so B is kind of silly, isn't it? We don't burn machines to make electricity. Okay, number four. If you do not have, if you do not, you don't have electricity, not have electricity, moving into your home. Sometimes, you know, a storm might knock down the wires. You might not get electricity in your home. By the way, we call that a blackout. A blackout. If there's some problem with the power plant or the wires, electricity is cut, we say there's a blackout in the area. So, if you don't have electricity moving into your home, A, B, or C. A, you can use a battery to get electricity. Does that sound like a good idea? Because remember, a battery, what does a battery do? A battery stores electricity. So yeah, sure, you can use a battery to get electricity because hopefully you charged that battery beforehand and you have electricity in the battery. So you can use the electricity with a battery. Let's just look at B and C for practice. B, you can burn fuel to make a battery burn fuel to make a battery? No, that's silly, right? You don't burn fuel to make a battery. Batteries are made uh, in a factory and they don't burn fuel to make them. <laughs> okay, C. You can burn fuel to make your computer work. You can burn gas to make your computer work? No, that would be very difficult. You need to generate electricity to make your computer work. We don't have power plants in our home, so we can't really burn the fuel to make the electricity. The power plant is far away. Okay, so A is our correct answer. You can use a battery to get electricity. Okay, let's uh, take a look at our chart. We've seen this chart before, and we're talking about the process in which electricity travels, moves from one place to another. In this case, how does electricity move from the power plant where it's made to the machine that you want to use? How does, it, how does it get from one place to the other? Well, first of all, we have the picture here. What are these things here? Do you remember? They are called wires, okay? And these wires are what is used to carry the electricity. So electricity comes from power plants through wires and they are transferred to your home. So from the power plant to your home, the electricity travels through wires. Now, when it gets to your home, how do you get it, right? When it gets to your home, the wires go through the walls and they stop at these things. These are outlets, okay? This is an outlet. And what do you do with this? This part here, this is a cord. Well, this is, of course, the plug. And the whole thing is a cord. So what do we do? Electricity moves from the outlet through the cord. And the cord, of course, is attached to your machine. So now the lamp has energy. So the cord is hooked up to here on the back of this lamp. We can't see it, but it's there. So now we can turn on the lamp. Then the lamp gives off light. It gives off light. So we have light from our lamp because the electricity is moved from the power plant through the wires into our homes out of the outlet through the cord and to our machine. And then we have power. So as we can see, electricity is very important in our lives. It's one of the most powerful energies that we use. Uh, and we use it for a lot of different things, for computers, refrigerators, televisions, 
uh, many different things in our lives that we use electricity for. It's a very important power, but again, be careful. It can be dangerous, especially when around water. So be careful when you use electricity, but also when you do ele use electricity, think about it. Think about how amazing it is, and think about how your life would be very different and perhaps poorer if we didn't have electricity. Okay, well anyway, I uh, hope you've learned a lot in this lesson. We'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.